This could be the worst financial decision you make in 2025. And I don't just have one of these, I have a second one, and I have a solar hot water diverter, all from the same company. Now, let me be clear. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy products from my energy. In fact, this Zappi has been here now for nearly three years. It has been absolutely faultless. We actually have a second one on the other side of the building, and we have a hot water diverter from my energy called the Eddy up in our hot water tank. But we do not use them to divert solar energy from our house into our cars or into our hot water system. Why? Because it does not make financial sense. So let me explain. Currently here in the UK, if you're with Octopus Energy, on a day like today when you're exporting energy, you're being paid 15 pence per kilowatt hour. If you then export all of that energy, every kilowatt hour that you generate, you will be paid 15 pence for it. Then when you need to charge your car at night, you buy it back from the grid at seven pence, making a profit of eight pence per kilowatt hour. But if you just take the energy that's coming off the roof and divert it straight into your car, you're losing out on that eight pence per kilowatt hour. So it doesn't make sense to use the divert functions of these particular chargers, or in fact, most modern chargers that have a solar divert function, you should not be using it. Well, actually, that's not strictly true. There are three reasons why this might make sense for you. So the first reason that you might want to consider a charger with a solar divert function is if your solar system has the ability to go into off-grid or island mode. That means you have either a backup interface, a backup gateway, or something like that that lets you sever the connection between you and the grid. Now, the reason for that is that you don't want energy coming off of your roof flowing back into the network when maybe your local DNO engineers are actually working on it and possibly giving them a shock. Now, if you have the ability to go into island mode and there is a power cut and it's a beautiful day like this, then your solar system can continue to operate. But once your batteries are full, where does that power go? Well, you can't send it to the grid because the grid's down. So that's when you would use something like this to divert that power into the car. But as soon as the grid comes back, you want to stop charging your car and you want to start sending that energy to the grid so you can earn money for it. So the second reason this might be useful to you is if you work from home, you've got an electric vehicle and you're running a bit low on charge and you think I might need to charge the car for later in the day. So rather than using expensive midday electricity, you can plug this in and divert some of your solar into the car. Now, obviously it's not the most financially sensible way to do that, but if you need your car charged, it is definitely the best way to do it, charging it with excess solar rather than relying upon the grid. So the third reason, and possibly the one that you might want to consider, is just because we're being paid 15 pence per kilowatt hour for electricity right now, doesn't mean that is the way it's always going to be. What if Octopus decided tomorrow that we're getting way too much solar, we're going to drop those rates. We're going to drop those rates to 5 pence a kilowatt hour. Or maybe they're not even going to pay for the excess electricity. Do you really want to be feeding it back to the grid if you're not making any money from it? At that point, it is definitely better for you to be charging your car or heating your hot water with all that excess solar. So those are three reasons why this might be a good idea. It might be a good idea as a backup, but certainly on a day like today, you wanna to be exporting as much of that energy as you possibly can and making every single penny from it that is possible. So chargers like the Zappi and diverters like the Eddy, they're incredible pieces of technology. They're really clever. They take care of all of the diversion for you, so you don't even have to think about it. But that doesn't mean it's a smart idea. Certainly in the current market, the way things are, you don't want to be diverting any energy into your car or into your hot water system if you can buy it back later on and still make money. Anyway, are you using a diverter, whether it be a hot water diverter, a solar diverter, or even a load dump to be able to put power into a pool or a hot tub or something else when you've got excess solar? Let me know in the comments what you think. That's it for this video. I hope this has been useful. If it has, please do hit that like and subscribe button. It means a great deal to me. And if I'm lucky, 
I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.